Nearly 500 cyclists are inspired to ride in the ninth annual Big Move Cancer Ride, supporting close to home cancer care in Niagara. There are different rides, there's the 100K, the 50 and the 25, and people have been training all year round. And this event really brings together a number of riders who have been doing it for the first time, others who've been doing it for a number of years. We have the Platinum Peddlers, and this is an exclusive club. Uh, a number of people have raised well over $10,000 individually. So, you know, it's really a mix of riders who are doing it either for a loved one or have come together to support cancer care. Roger, why do you think the community supports One Foundation events like the Big Move Cancer Ride? Well, they do because they believe in our Walker Cancer Center and our community has come together to raise the dollars and ensure that we have the best health care services for all residents of Niagara. Dr. Griesbrack, how do the funds raised from this event impact patient care at the Walker Family Cancer Center? So the funds from the big move first helped us to build the Walker Family Cancer Center at Niagara Health. And in the last years, they've gone to support the equipment that we need to deliver quality care to cancer patients, that excellent care that we all expect. That includes things throughout the hospital, endoscopy equipment, laboratory equipment, and within Walker Family itself. A lot of it has focused on uh, the radiation treatment equipment and the specialized things that we need to enhance those techniques. And we have focused on what's called precision radiation techniques. So introducing those has been the focus for the funds the last few years. The theme for this year's event is Inspired to Ride. What's inspiring me is, of course, every patient who needs this type of treatment, and many of them are friends and family. You know, I've grown up in Niagara, uh, lived here, spent my career here, so it's actually very close to my heart as well. And that's each of us have some of those connections, and we are inspired because of this community, and they give back. And that's, it's a very generous community, and growing that is one of the most important things we can do for the future of health care and a compassionate community. I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage 3, incurable. And I had some surgery bypass, and I joined the chemo team at the uh, Walker Cancer Center, which have been phenomenal. Michael, what's inspired you to ride today? As a cancer patient at the Walker Cancer Center for the past year, uh, the least we can do is give back to our community what we've taken from it. It's a great facility um, for those that, who have loved ones there, who uh, can appreciate how the staff, uh, the furniture, the fixtures, the design are from people before my time, so it's appropriate that I give back for what people did before me. Do you have a team with you today? You're wearing a very colorful jersey today. Can you tell me about the group you're with? Yeah, we're with Knights Fight Cancer. It's uh, through our hockey program. All of the players have bought uh, jerseys in different cancer colors, and we're donating uh, $30 to uh, the Walker Cancer Center along with a team of about five or six riders. Elena, what inspired you to ride today? Uh, today I'm riding for my grandpa who just recently underwent radiation treatment at the Walker Family Cancer Center. Uh, we had discovered that he had cancer just last year and the Walker Family Cancer Center really took such good care of my grandpa and I thought this is a really great chance to give back and to thank them for taking such good care of my grandpa who is now in remission. How would you encourage someone who hasn't ridden to ride next year? I think it's something that if you're passionate about and you really want to just give it your all, you just do it. Because I've never done a race before. Um, you might talk to me at the end of the finish line. I might have a different, a different uh, motivation. But as of right now, I'm just really passionate about the cause. I love to ride, and I think I can do it. So I, I don't see why anyone else can't do it as well. Roger, what impact do volunteers have on the event? Well, volunteers are the fabric of our community and in particular for the One Foundation. We are really uh, blessed with having many volunteers and for this event we have over 230 volunteers. I've been talking to some of them this morning and there, there are many of them who have been doing this uh, for, you know, from the beginning. So nine years ago we have those who are first-time volunteers and we could not have done this event uh, without all our volunteers. Big Move participants are moving more than bikes. They're moving big numbers too. 
Since the ride began, nearly 4,000 riders have cycled over 300,000 kilometers thanks to over 1,800 volunteers cheering them on. To date, more than $3.4 million has been raised for the Walker Family Cancer Center. But the biggest number is the thousands and thousands of people who have been treated in Niagara. Donations are still being accepted for the Big Move Cancer Ride. And if these riders have inspired you, visit www.bigmovecancerride.com to donate. Reporting in St. Catharines, for The Source, Michelle Cuthbert.